This is Escape from the Homebrew Computer Club, a game I wrote uh, to celebrate the 30th birthday of the Apple II, and this is showing a run-through. This is on a Apple IIe running ProDOS, hooked up to a profile hard disk, a whole 5 megabytes. So it's indeed the whole shoot match. Here we're starting it. This is Escape from the Homebrew Computer Club. It says who? Steve Wozniak, A.K. Woz. When? Evening of February 16th, 1977. Where? The basement of a building on Stanford campus. And the status, you, Woz, have just demonstrated your latest creation, the Apple II, to the Homebrew Computer Club. However, the evil minions of Tari, Atandi, and Commodore have plotted to steal the computer from you as you leave the meeting. You must escape the building and join Steve Jobs to ensure your computer gets to market. Watch your energy level so you can fight off your attackers. Look for geek food and drink to fuel your escape. Once drained, they have you. Blah, 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 blah. Here we go. <clears throat> now, there's unfortunately some artifacts with the vertical retrace on the computer monitor. What this is, <clears throat> it's a first person walk, 3D walkthrough, kind of like. Uh, Doom or Quake. In fact, it's very similar to uh, Castle Wolfenstein from id, if you, anybody remembers that. But this is using the low-res graphics mode, a whopping 40 by 48 pixels in 16 colors. There's the Dr. Pepper. There's the M&Ms. There's your cup of coffee, believe it or not. And there's your Snickers bar. This is your geek food. This is how you get your energy points. <clears throat> Once you're close to 85% uh, or higher, you don't actually consume any more of the uh, of the goodies until you get below that. This is just showing some of the things you can do. This is called the sidestepping mode, where you can kind of go back and forth without uh, actually turning. They call it strafe mode in uh, like Quake. And this is going down the hallway, and, and you're going through this... Uh, it's called the, this is the basement of this building at, at Stanford. It's not really a real building, I just made it up. And here you're looking down the building. It's kind of, kind of difficult to see exactly the 3D aspect of it given the low resolution, but uh, the only way to keep the colors high so you can actually have red bricks and brown doors and keep the frame rate high enough. This is a one megahertz. Oh, bad guy, bad guy, run away, run away. This is a stock 1 megahertz, megahertz, with 64K of memory. <clears throat> Actually, this 2E, 2E has 128K, but only 64K is necessary. And it runs everything f from a um, original Apple II all the way through the Apple II GS series of Apple II computers. So our bad guy didn't quite make it out the door. <clears throat> you can use the door to your advantage. Up oh, there he is. Okay, now we're running away again. He's still attacking. Now the only you can't actually fight these guys. All you can do is run, which you can actually run faster than they can. But in tight quarters, it's tough to get away from them. So here he is. He's coming at us. We're running. I'm gonna pick up the snicker bar. Oh yeah back to this door that we came through the beginning. Oh, first let's get this guy to chase us a little more. Here he comes. Now through the doors. Back into our original room. Now I'm going to go to the other side. This is a maze. Why is there a maze here? I don't know. I thought it'd be kind of fun. But this is kind of the maze you'd see in some of the original 8-bit computer maze games, which was just, uh, in fact, not even a walkthrough like this. They were just blank walls, and all you had were the outlines of the walls, the corners and whatnot. And so I thought this would be kind of a nice little retro uh, way to show off some of those earlier games, but with an actual full 
frame rate, about a 20 frames per second frame rate. Again, using just a standard Apple II. Okay, now we're coming through. Back to the hallway. And this is the way out. Of course, it always has to be blocked by a bad guy. That arrow does an arrow pointing up. That's how we get out. <clears throat> Next level. Looking around, just a plain room with only one door. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I guess there's only one thing to do, and that's to go through the door. <gasps> What's that? Whoa. It's the Matrix. I guess you are the one. You know, there's only so much you can do <laughs> with this kind of graphics. But I thought this was kind of clever. We have the old, you know, green character walls like they had in the Matrix. And of course, if you're going to be in the Matrix, then what do you have to have? You have to have the blue pill. I'm not sure if it's the blue pill or the red pill that you're supposed to take, but in this case, it's the blue pill. So we still have to get out. But now we have Mr. Smith. There he is. This is just like a bunch of cubicles or something. There's that door. Go through that door. There's another blue pill. More blue pills. What's behind door number two? Mr. Smith, run away. I'm just showing you some of the places where the blue pills are hidden, so if you're running low on energy, which I just checked, you can get your way out. And what's this? That is, believe it or not, a payphone, a landline. I'm trying to see if I can show it off a little bit better. So not a lot of resolution to work with here. That that's your that's your way out. Okay, now that now we're to the ground floor. We have windows looking out on. Uh, <clears throat> Green grass and blue sky, I suppose. We're just kind of wandering around here. This is like a conference hall or something. Some goodies at one end. If I were you, I'd be careful about going to get those goodies, though. There's always hidden bad guys. So. We're going to skip that goodies. To this door lies the library. Aha! Bad guys. So we run through the library. Pull the bad guys up. There's none of them. Up, a bad guy caught up to us. Quick, run away. To that door. Down the hallways. I'm showing you the way you want to go. Look behind us. Nobody's following. Okay. This door, hmm. That's one. Oh, two bad guys, quick, run through. So the only way to get by those guys is just to keep running. Hey, there we go. My favorite saying, Apple II forever. And there is the exit. Alrighty, you made it. Geeks everywhere will rejoice that they have a great computer to learn from and play with for years to come. Thanks, Steve and Steve. Back to Protoss. Thanks, hope you enjoyed it.